Welcome to today's meditation. Today, we're taking a powerful step towards relieving anxiety and inviting a deep sense of calm and safety into your mind and body. When anxiety arises, it often comes from a sense within the body that things are no longer safe, even when no immediate danger is present. In this meditation, I've carefully designed each step to guide you back towards a place of safety and ease, using the vagus nerve to calm both the mind and body. By the time we're finished, we will have engaged this calming system within the body, and that will naturally lower stress, soothe the nervous system, balance the heart rate, and melt away the physical tension that anxiety can create. We're also going to cultivate a deep sense of safety, inner peace, and balance. We'll begin by using a gentle breathing technique which will activate the vagus nerve and signal to the body that it's safe to relax. We'll then bring in some simple affirmations to anchor those feelings of safety and then move through a relaxing body scan, moving through the body part by part, creating space for tension to melt away. By the end of our time together, your vagus nerve will be gently engaged and you'll feel more grounded, more at ease and ready to move forward with a sense of peace. Or if you're listening to this before bed, it will help quiet the mind and prepare you for a deep, restful sleep. Let's begin by finding a comfortable position and if we're sitting down, if possible, let's have our back supported. Most people feel more relaxed by closing the eyes, but feel free to open the eyes if that feels more relaxing to you. For some of us, particularly those who have suffered from anxiety for much of our lives, the nervous system can sometimes get triggered when we close the eyes, so feel free to crack open the eyes slightly to let some light in if thoughts or emotions become too uncomfortable. You can always close your eyes again once you feel safe and settled. If we are keeping the eyes open, just making sure that we have a soft gaze, a soft focus. We're also welcome to lie down if we want to. And if we want to get extra comfortable, you're welcome to lay down on your back, putting a pillow underneath your knees to take the pressure off your lower back and lying down with your arms by your side or hands laying on your stomach or chest. Either way, please sit back or lay back and enjoy. And feel free to shift positions at any time during this meditation. Of course, it's lovely to be still during the meditation, but it's even better to be comfortable. So you're more than welcome to make any last minute adjustments. Even if you can get one or 2% more comfortable, I invite you to go ahead and do so now. Anxiety is a natural response to stress, but when it becomes overwhelming, it can leave us feeling tense, restless, and on edge. And if we stay in a state of anxiety for too long, it can sometimes take a toll on our physical and mental health. This meditation is going to engage the parasympathetic nervous system, also known as the rest and digest system. Through the vagus nerve, it's going to slow down our heart rate, relax our muscles, and bring our bodies back into a state of equilibrium. It will also help train your body and mind to stay calm and feel safe, even in the face of anxiety. Okay, let's begin. I invite you now to bring awareness to the breath. Noticing your inhale and noticing your exhale. Now without trying to change anything about the breath, we're simply noticing how the body is naturally breathing. We might find that there's an urge to direct the breath, to control the breath in some way. So without trying to change anything, how is the body breathing right now? 
Is it a slow breath or is it a rapid breath? Is it a deep breath or a shallow breath? Maybe we're breathing into the chest or perhaps into the stomach. Is the inhale longer than the exhale or is the exhale longer than the inhale? We're just noticing. Now we're not so much watching the breath, we're experiencing the breath, we're feeling the breath. So what does it feel like to breathe? Perhaps we can feel the cool air coming in through the nostrils as we breathe in. As the lungs, chest and stomach expand. Then we might notice a short pause as the breath changes direction as the body softens and relaxes and the warm air leaves the nostrils and the body sinks deeper into the chair or into the bed. We breathe in and the body expands and we breathe out as the body softens, relaxes, and sinks deeper. We're breathing in and breathing out. Perhaps we can try softening the face, softening the jaw, softening the tiny muscles around the eyes. If it feels good, you can even allow a gentle smile to spread across the lips. When we relax the muscles in the face, soften the eyes and smile, this can send a message through the vagus nerve to tell the body that we're safe and at ease. This simple act, softening and smiling, can activate our body's natural relaxation response, helping us to settle deeper into a state of calm. Okay, good. Now before we move into the gentle breathing exercise, I'd like to introduce a phrase that many people find soothing, and that phrase is, I am safe. Research shows that using self-soothing phrases like this can help activate the vagus nerve, which encourages the body's natural relaxation response. For some of us, by gently reminding the body and mind that we're safe, we can help to ease anxiety and bring a sense of calm and safety. For others, especially those who have been through trauma or heightened anxiety, this phrase might feel uncomfortable or even out of reach. So if this phrase feels uncomfortable or doesn't resonate, Please know that's perfectly okay. You have the option to choose another phrase that feels supportive. Something like, I am here, or I am breathing. Or if you prefer, you can drop the mantra and simply stay with the natural rhythm of the breath. And at any point during this meditation, if there are feelings of discomfort, we're always welcome to open our eyes Take a few deep breaths and just be with whatever's here, knowing there's no right or wrong way to feel. So, taking a moment now, if it feels good, if it feels right, to say to yourself, out loud or silently in your mind, I am safe. I 
I am safe. I am safe. Now if that phrase felt good to you, you're welcome to come back to that phrase whenever you choose to. Okay, good. And bringing our awareness back to the breath now. Back to that next inhale. And that next exhale. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now, a common tendency for many of us is for the inhalation to be longer than the exhalation. But when we slow down our out breath, we allow the body's natural relaxation response to kick in. This is where the vagus nerve plays an important role. Lengthening our out breath sends signals to the vagus nerve, telling the body that it's safe to relax. So now, for the next minute or two, I invite you to lengthen your exhalation, making sure that our exhalation is longer than our inhalation. If it's comfortable, we're also going to do a little pause at the top of the breath. If the pause makes you feel uncomfortable, you can let go of that pause. And if the counting feels uncomfortable, you can also let go of the counting and simply breathe in a little deeper and breathe out a little slower. This is your time, so there's no right or wrong way of doing this. But if you'd like to join me in counting, we can breathe in for a count of four, hold for a count of two, and breathe out for a count of six. You can follow my count for a few breaths and then you can continue doing some more at your own pace. Let's breathe in, two, three, four, hold. Breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold. Breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold. Breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold. Breathing out, two, three, four, five, six. Now there's no need to be precise with the counting, whatever's comfortable. And if you like, you can drop the counting or the holding completely and just making sure that the out-breath is a little bit longer than the in-breath. So let me be quiet for a few moments so we can do this by ourselves. making sure that we're keeping the body relaxed as we breathe. Sometimes when we take deep breaths, we can cause tension and stress in the body, especially when we're breathing in. We can't be stressed and relaxed at the same time, so if we find tension in the body on the in-breath, then perhaps not breathing so deeply, maybe pulling back the breath by 10 or 20%. Checking to see if the forehead is relaxed, the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. Is the stomach relaxed? All 
already we might be beginning to notice changes as we settle into this relaxing practice of lengthening the out-breath. And as we continue to breathe deeply and steadily, your vagus nerve is being gently activated, sending signals of safety to the body. You might start to feel a sense of warmth or tingling sensations spreading through the body, or perhaps a gentle release of tension. These are all signs that your body is beginning to relax and let go of stress. Good. And whenever you're ready, we can allow our breathing to return to its natural rhythm. And notice how the body's breathing now. Is the breath a little softer? A little slower maybe? Just noticing. And noticing what it feels like to breathe. Perhaps we can feel the cool air coming in through the nostrils as we breathe in. As the lungs, chest and stomach expand. And then we might feel the warm air leaving the nostrils as the body softens and relaxes. And sinks deeper into the chair or into the bed. If we notice the mind is elsewhere, thinking about the past, worrying about the future, fixing, planning, going over to-do lists, that's perfectly normal. The mind naturally gravitates towards these kind of thoughts, especially when we're feeling anxious. By doing this, our mind is trying to protect us by anticipating and solving problems but this type of thinking can lead to more stress and anxiety. So as soon as we realize that we're caught up in thought, caught up in distraction, without giving ourselves a hard time, without beating ourselves up, we gently and patiently and kindly bring our awareness back to the breath, back to the here and now, and we simply pick up where we left off. Back to that next inhale. Back to that next exhale. Good. And now we're going to shift into another way of relaxing. And we're going to move into the progressive relaxation section of the meditation. Slowly moving our awareness through the body. Relaxing each part as we go. And releasing tension wherever we find it. As we relax each area, we continue to stimulate the vagus nerve. Allowing deeper relaxation. And signaling to the body that it's safe. I invite you now to follow my instructions. Let's begin by relaxing the left foot. And remembering, my instructions are a gentle guide. And if your intuition leads you somewhere else, then feel absolutely free to change my words or even ignore them completely. So you might change my instructions to something like locate a space in our left foot or let go in the left foot or left foot letting go, whatever works best for you. Relaxing the left lower leg.
relaxing the left knee. Relaxing the left upper leg. Perhaps we might be noticing nice feelings of warmth or tingles or pulses moving into the area that we're relaxing. Relaxing the left hip. Now moving our awareness down through the right hip, through the right leg, all the way down to the right foot. Relaxing the right foot. Relaxing the right lower leg. Relaxing the right knee. Relaxing the right upper leg, the thigh, the hamstring. As we relax each muscle, the gentle activation of the vagus nerve deepens this sense of safety and calm throughout the body. As we relax the right hip, relaxing both hips and the pelvis and we're keeping the breathing relaxed as we go through this body scan, keeping the breath soft. Relaxing the lower back. Relaxing the middle of the back. Relaxing the upper back, the shoulder blades. Relaxing the entire back. Perhaps we're noticing feelings of relaxation spreading through the back. Maybe feelings of warmth or vibrations or tingles. Moving our awareness now to the front of the body, to the stomach, and relaxing the stomach. The vagus nerve helps to regulate digestion, so as we relax the stomach, we're allowing the vagus nerve to ease any tension held in this area. If there's any tension or tightness in the stomach, See if we can release some of that tension as we breathe out, as we exhale. Relaxing the chest, the rib cage, maybe even relaxing all the organs inside the chest.
relaxing the heart, releasing any tension or tightness in the chest. Relaxing the left shoulder. Relaxing the left arm, the upper arm, the elbow, the forearm, the wrist. Relaxing the left hand. Relaxing the fingers and the thumb. Moving over to the right shoulder and relaxing the shoulder. Relaxing the right arm. Relaxing the right hand. Keeping the breathing relaxed as we move through the body. Relaxing the neck and the throat. Relaxing the back of the head. Relaxing the face, the jaw, the lips, the cheeks, the eyes, the temples, the forehead. Almost as if we can feel the face from the inside out. Relaxing the top of the head. Now, I invite you to expand your awareness to include the whole body, from the top of the head to the tips of the fingers and tips of the toes. Noticing all those feelings of relaxation that have spread across the body. The tingles, the warmth, the pulses, the vibrations. The stiller we become, the more we can feel this alive body. There's lots going on inside the body. When we're feeling anxious, we're so often in our heads. We just don't notice what this body feels like. So as we continue to scan the body, we're letting go, allowing our body to find its equilibrium while 
remaining alert, awake, present, as our body and mind become increasingly relaxed and peaceful. We're enjoying this experience of relaxation and letting it sink in. And as we keep our awareness in the body, in these sensations of relaxation, I invite you to expand your awareness even more to include the sensations of breathing. And the breath is a sensation just like body sensations. So we're simply noticing how the body is naturally breathing. So without trying to change anything about the breath, without trying to direct or control the breath in any way, we're simply noticing how the body is breathing. Perhaps the breath is slowed. Maybe the breath is more relaxed. And once again, as a reminder, we're not so much watching the breath, we're experiencing the breath. We're feeling what it feels like to breathe. So perhaps we can feel the cool air coming in through the nostrils as we breathe in, as the lungs, chest and stomach expand. And then we might notice the warmer air leaving the nostrils as the body softens and relaxes and sinks deeper. We breathe in and the body expands. Then we breathe out as the body softens, relaxes and sinks deeper into the chair or into the bed. Noticing the body becoming increasingly peaceful and tranquil. The breath slowing down. The body relaxing. The mind calming. And as this practice nears its end, knowing that you can come back here again, this place of relaxation and peace and safety, and let's notice what the body and mind feel like after working with our vagus nerve. Hopefully we're feeling a little less anxious, a little safer and a little calmer. But even if we're not feeling more relaxed, it could be one of those really difficult days and we might notice that we have even more anxiety in the mind and body. But that's okay too. By bringing awareness to how we're feeling, we can now give ourselves some extra care and self-compassion. So if we are feeling a little stressed, sad or anxious or overwhelmed, then if possible, be kind to yourself today. Consider doing something gentle and nurturing for yourself. Something that brings a sense of ease and comfort. There's no pressure to feel or act in a certain way. Give yourself permission to leave the hard work for another day. It's natural to feel overwhelmed at times. To feel weighed down by life's challenges. But sometimes, when we pause we can begin to see that there's a quiet strength within us. 
one that allows us to meet each moment with a little more peace, a little more grace. This meditation isn't about removing all discomfort or erasing anxiety. It's about building the capacity to find steadiness within ourselves, even when life feels unsteady. Before we close, I'd like to share a poem that reflects this idea. It speaks to the light and resilience we each carry within us, even in the face of life's challenges. It's called The Laughing Heart by Charles Bukowski. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them. Take them. You can't beat death, but you can beat death in life, sometimes. And the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. Your life is your life. Know it while you have it. You are marvellous. The gods wait. And keeping our eyes closed, I invite you to notice what feels different in the body and the mind. Perhaps we're feeling more relaxed. Perhaps we can feel an opening or lightness in the chest, maybe more spaciousness in the mind, and perhaps a feeling of safety in the body. Noticing as well if we feel more energized from this practice or whether we're feeling more relaxed. Some of us will find this practice energizes us and for those people, it might be good to do it in the morning to start our day off with more energy. But if we find it more relaxing, it might help us sleep at night so we can try this practice at bedtime. Okay, I invite you now to bring awareness to sounds. The sounds inside the room, sounds outside the room. We can gently wiggle our fingers and toes. And shortly the meditation will come to an end, but you're welcome to rest for as long as you like. And whenever you're ready, you can gently crack open the eyes and come back to the room. And remember, we can always come back to this place of rest and relaxation. Whenever we notice anxious thoughts or feelings arising, we can gently return our attention to the breath or we can remind ourselves that we're safe or we can bring our awareness into the body and practice releasing and letting go of tension. Or we can come back to this meditation. Doing this can often help us find calm and safety in the present moment. Congratulate yourself on taking some time out to care for your mind and body, nurturing your well-being and creating space for peace. Have a wonderful day or if you're listening to this before bed, sweet dreams. <laughs>